All right. So today we're going to do an install video of the Ricochet off-road crash bar cylinder guards. And uh, supervising me is going to be my buddy Samson. He's going to be making sure I do everything right. He's going to roll over and take a little nap. And um, after you open everything up and you read through the instructions, you're going to notice there's two different clamp sizes. All right. There's a 7 8 clamp and a 1 inch clamp. The cool thing is, is actually stamped on the clamps what size they are. So make sure you guys take special note to that. They also recommend you put a drop of oil or anti-seize on the, the nut itself uh, before doing the install. So stay tuned and I'll walk you guys through the very simple process of putting these on your GS, GSA. All right, let's begin the install process. Um, you should go out and pick up some anti-seize. That's what I did. I went to Home Depot. It was about five bucks for this big old tube. It'll last you a lifetime. Um, or you can just use a regular oil. It says that in the directions. Uh, make sure you've got your three brackets you need. You should have two one-inch ones and then one seven-eighths. And then from there, you're going to need a Sharpie, a T40 Torque, and some scissors and maybe a rag. What I went ahead and already did was I took um, the plate and I used my Sharpie and marked where it looked like it was gonna be touching. And I'm gonna cut that to size. Go ahead and put that on. This is where your scissors come into play. All right, roll that back up. I think that's all I'm going to need. And then we'll go ahead and start the install. Crack open this tube here. I'm just gonna take uh, the first bolt, get that anti-seize on there. And so the one inch goes up top. Tighten up a little bit. All right, let that hang down. And we're going to go to the 7 8 Get off the excess goop. 7 8 is going to be the forward bar here. And now we'll go to the last bracket. Put some more goop on. Okay. 
not going to tighten all the way down just yet. Position it a little better. Looks good there. Looks good there. I like it. I'll tighten this one down. All right. Go to the forward one. And the rear one. Nice and snug, nothing uh, too crazy. Give it a good wipe down, get off that extra goop. And there you go, that is the one side done. You're gonna do the same exact process on the other side. I will try and get you a better angle here with the camera. So you can see how the foam's fitting in there nicely. It's touching back there pretty well. I think I did a good matchup on that. All right, I appreciate uh, you guys checking out my video. Give me a like, subscribe, and uh, leave some comments below, good or bad. Take it easy and ride safe.